My name is Justin Roberts, I'm a Critical Care Consultant at East Lancashire NHS Trust and I'm going to be talking about fluid stewardship. Fluid stewardship is a concept covering all aspects of fluid management, from procurement, ordering and safe storage of fluids, prescribing, administration and monitoring right through to the education and audit. This short film describes what fluid stewardship looks like in East Lancashire hospitals and is part of a suite of films that show it in more detail how to manage the different fluid requirement scenarios. Errors in prescribing intravenous fluids and electrolytes are common. Surveys have shown that many staff prescribing intravenous fluids don't know how to work out the fluid and electrolyte needs of an individual patient or the composition of the many fluid choices available to them. Management of fluid therapy is rarely reported for causing patient harm. However, evidence suggests as many as one in five patients receiving intravenous fluids and electrolytes suffer complications or morbidity due to their inappropriate administration, or simply too much or too little fluid. Many accepted practices of intravenous fluid prescribing were developed for historical reasons rather than through trials or an evidence base. So you might hear people talk about two bags of salt to one bag of sugar, or is that two bags of sugar to one of salt? That's why NICE produced Clinical Guidance 174 to share best practice and to demystify fluid management. The aim of the NICE guidance is to help clinicians understand, for the majority of adult patient scenarios, the physiological principles that underpin fluid prescribing, the pathophysiological changes that affect fluid balance in disease states, the indications for intravenous fluid therapy, the reasons for the choice of the various fluids available, and the principles of assessing fluid balance. We've created separate films to help you choose and prescribe the right fluid for the five R's, resuscitation, routine maintenance, replacement and redistribution, and reassessment. Before you view these, I want to tell you a little bit more about the elements of fluid stewardship, all aimed at supporting you to provide safe, effective care for patients. We have introduced the Blip It Meds mobile app to help choose the right fluid and volume for the given indication. Our prescription chart has evolved over time and will change again in the future. This is to help prescribers to prescribe the right fluids and for nurses to administer them safely. Ward stock lists have been introduced so only the fluids expected to be used by a particular ward specialty are stocked. This means ward staff will be familiar with their common fluids and they will have to order non-stock fluids through their pharmacist. And this means there will be a clinical check of the appropriateness of the prescription against the indication so the patient gets the right fluid. Stock control of ward fluid has been taken over by the pharmacy assistants, which means tighter controls of stock rotation so there's less waste. And they'll do their best to ensure there's always the right number of bags to last until the next day. And if it turns out there is a shortage or the ward is carrying too much, they'll make dynamic adjustments to the stock levels. All this is underpinned by a governance structure that includes an audit and educational programme that these films are part of, all under the umbrella of the Trust Fluid Stewardship Committee. You will notice that I will never use the term saline in these films, normal or otherwise. Always use the technical description, sodium chloride 0.9%. And do you know how much sodium is in one litre of sodium chloride 0.9%? 154 millimoles, more than twice the daily requirement of a 70 kilo person. There really is nothing normal about normal saline. Likewise, say and prescribe glucose, not dextrose. All fluid bags are labelled with these terms, so use them to avoid confusion. Fluid mismanagement can result in harm to patients and should be considered a critical incident to be reported through the DATIX as an IR1. We need to know about these incidents so we can change our educational programmes to prevent any future recurrence. Fluid stewardship matters. These are opportunities to get it right or get it wrong. NICE guidance has only been around since 2013 and there are still many working practices and beliefs that precede it. Use the knowledge you have gained and feel confident to challenge prescriptions that do not match these regimens. Thank you for watching and check out the rest of the suite of films and be good fluid stewards.